our outliner comes in three different colours. Gold, black and silver. And they also come in three different containers. We do the 25mm, we do the 50mm and we do the 250mm. Which is best really for refilling either of these two. Now one tip is, take your bottles and always keep them upside down in a glass jar like so. That means that your outliner is always running down to the bottom because they have nozzles on the end and they're always ready to go. Now the 25mm has a nice small nozzle on the end like so. Now my advice is just get a piece of paper or a piece of glass or anything like that. I've got a piece of film here. Just get the feel of the bottle. Now it's designed so that it's really nice and soft and very easy to press. You've not got any like problems with rolling the bottles up or anything like that. It's always in there. So if you keep them upside down all the time, just literally, just play around at first, just squeezing the outliner out of the bottle. Now you saw that broke there, that's because I hadn't had the bottles upside down. Now if you keep the bottles upside down, because the liquid outliner goes all the way down to the bottom of, down here near the nozzle, you won't get that <laughs> splashing sound all over the place. So literally just get a play, get a piece of glass, piece of film and just get the feel of the outliner. Now the technique of actually using this outliner is not, not to put it onto the glass and squeeze and pull along like that because you get very ir irregular lines and bubbles and blobs and everything. Now to get a lovely smooth nice line the best thing is to actually touch the glass or the film and lift it up and lay it down onto the glass and when you want to come off just stop touch and take it off just touch lift and you can see how i'm laying it down you've got full control if you want to stop you can then telephone rings just stop come off take it off you've answered the telephone you've had a talk come back to it and all you do is to join it up again just touch lift and lay it down so you've got full control here with lifting it up into the air, you've got more control than you would have if you were just dragging it across the surface of the glass. Now that's the 25mm bottle. These are good because you can actually, when you come to the end of these, you can wash them out and then use them for the thickened paint, which I'm going to show you how to do later on. The other bottle is our 50mm bottle. Now this one has a much thicker nozzle on the end. The 25mm had a thin nozzle, but if you did want it bigger nozzle, just cut the end off to whatever size hole you want. But this one already has quite a large nozzle. And as you can see, if you're doing big windows or big bold designs, it gives you a much thicker line, like so. Now what I want you to do is just, if you've never done it before, just have a little play around with the lead on a piece of film waste a little bit because you won't waste it in the long run because you won't be wasting things that have gone wrong now when you've had a little play with it my advice is to get one of our practice sheets now we have them in our books either of our books or you can get them from our mail order catalog or and it just looks something like this or you can just get a piece of paper yourself and put lots of straight lines squiggles loops squares triangles or little circles, whatever you want. It's just some patterns that you want to to follow. And literally all you do is, I'm taking the 25 mil again, and you just literally touch, lift. When you come to the end, just touch and take it off. Touch, lift, lay it down over the design touch and take it off, touch, lift and take it down. Now you can just continue all the way around, do all your squiggles, do your squares here, just touch, lift and stop. Take it off, don't try to do it all in one go at this stage, touch and take it off. Just touch, gently squeeze, lay it down, take it off, just touch take it off. Same with your triangle. Just touch, take it off, touch and take it off. 
So that's a practice sheet. And I'm sorry, there's no other way you can do it. It's very simple to do. You just have to practice, practice, practice. A lot of the designs in the video will be taken from our Glass Painters Motif Library, which is a fantastic book. It's got over a thousand designs to inspire you. And all you have to do is flip through the book, and it's all done in order. There's patterns, like so. And there's lots of animals, and birds, and dragons, and butterflies, and an astral, and oh, Christmas, Easter lettering, alphabets, children's designs, all sorts of things. And I've actually taken a, a design on page 53, and I'll show you what to do with it, if I can find page 53. Am I getting there? Just gone past it? There you go. That design there, for instance, you just, you can see how small it is, but if you want to enlarge that, just take the book to a photocopier, and then you can just do things like this. That was enlarged up to 25%, and then I enlarged that to 50%, and then I enlarged that to 75%, and I enlarged it again to the size that I wanted, and that's 100% from what it is in the book. And literally then, all you have to do is put your glass, or your film, or whatever medium you're using, over the design, take your outliner, and always keep a folded piece of kitchen towel at the side like this. So if you get any blobs on the end, wipe them off before you start outlining and then you'll always have nice, neat, clean lines on your design. And you can see I'm just lifting and laying down. So you get a lovely, nice, smooth line. When you've finished your outlining, just leave it to dry. Now we normally leave it about 24 hours, but you can leave it outside if it's a nice sunny day, or just leave it near a radiator and it'll dry much quicker. It all depends on the thickness of your line, how quickly it's going to dry. You can even use a hair dryer if you want. <laughs> 